Uh, I think I'm a positive person. It's just uh, who I am as a person. It's how I was raised, just to be positive. Everybody go through negative times, but if, if you stay positive, you always could fight through. In terms of basketball, I'm a very versatile player. I honestly could try to do whatever the coaches and everybody wants me to. I play for the team first before myself. Most of the teams that I've been su successful on, I've always been the one to uh, tend to sacrifice myself and my full game because and we became successful. Uh, so whatever the coach wants, just uh, consistently bring energy, play hard on defense. That's my main goal myself personally. I just try to play defense because everyone is just a thing. Everyone looks for offense. It's just what it is. And is a few that continue just to strive and look to play defense and try to win games on that end of the floor. And that's what I'm going to try to bring energy and defense. Both of those are very skilled players. So I don't think they, they didn't tell me anything about the league more so. We just talked about how fun it would be for us to uh, play again together. I have some great times and successful times with those two players. And um, it would just be fun to see them around, be around them again, locker room, stuff like that. Also knowing Kyle from New York, me and him, been knowing Kyle for like nine, ten years. It'd be good to, on the different aspect of just seeing him in New York, just being a different venue, just seeing Kyle and how he does it, his business. So it's just a bit, it just works perfect being able to be in the locker room with Larry, Dusan, and Kyle. I, I honestly seen it. I've always seen the ACB as uh, one of the toughest league in uh, in Europe, like like compared to countries league, like the toughest in terms of European leagues. Other than the Euro League, of course, but I've also seen it as the toughest league. So it's, it's going to be good for me. I've always wanted to play in the ACB, but never the right opportunity came up until now. I'm very excited to, to be here and hopefully continue bringing winning attitude and hopefully continue being in the ACB. But um, yeah, I've always seen it as the toughest league. Uh, everybody plays hard, some plays fast, but the structure is always good here. I'm, I'm a real fan of ACB. Uh, and anyone that's ever played here have always told me that it's a great league to play. I have a lot of friends that played here. And I finally, I get my opportunity and really see how far it could go. Of course, you want to come and play games right away, but sometimes you jump into a game too fast. So being able to get my body back acclimated to the time zone of European and um, just getting familiar with the guys and all that stuff is a long time and, and playing with the guys for that long. When the game comes, it will become easier because you've been practicing for so long. I don't think it's normally, your, your teammates uh, put you in position to close. It's not something that many people go and grasp. So I feel like there's a, lot of, there's a lot of games I've seen was closed games and they just miss like uh, some big shots at the moment, but there's a lot of skills here. I'm not saying I'm the big uh, finisher, big closer, but I love those moments. And more so, I li rather like it on the defensive end, you know, because uh, I, I like I could say I, I'd rather be a closer on the defensive end because I could read defense as well, and I love to uh, I love to play defense. It's more so that moment. So whenever the opportunity comes, if I'm out there for the team, I always try my best because you could fight for 39 minutes, and the last minute become the most important. So that's what I, that's what you have to do it for.